Hello, 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 everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. I hope everybody's doing okay. Good morning. Today we're doing the learning the card of the day. I hope everybody's doing okay. Today's Friday, April 17th. 2020 Friday April 17 2020 and um, it's snowing in Chicago yeah it's a little bit cold <laughs> so you know I hope you're all staying indoors and doing your best staying well keeping keeping healthy and for those who are essential workers and are out there working our gratitude and I hope you're all doing well because it's cold out there. To remind you all that I'm doing readings online and also Reiki at reduced prices. Please inquire by inbox or you can text me or call me or inbox me or send me a WhatsApp or send me a message or a text message or whatever. I'm very, very, very reachable. <laughs> a little too much sometimes. Anyway. Today we're going to do the reading for the learning the, the card of the day. I'm using the Rider White Smith as usual for Friday's teaching. I use the Rider White Smith. I consider it to be the most important tarot slash blueprint of learning the tarot. So I think I shuffled enough times already. And let's see what card we get for today, for the weekend. And we have the Eight of Wands. I think we have this card already. So the Eight of Wands is about concentrating your energy and putting all your attention towards the goal, a task. And yes, we did this one already. So let me pull the second card that actually was uh, kind of like common with it. And we do have the devil reverse. And the devil reverse is a card that is talking about um, what was occult or what was hidden is being revealed. And we've seen that a lot. We've seen that a lot, that a lot of uh, folks are having a hard time at this time. And they're kind of like showing their true feelings, whether the, this be empathy, sympathy, love, compassion, and or the opposite, right? Uh, discomfort, bigotry, etc. So the character of the devil has is, is filled with a lot of symbolisms and believe me it usually takes two to three hours to learn the card of the devil so let me go very quickly today by saying um first we see the two people tied down there so that represents the lovers and uh, free will and just to focus in a couple of the symbolism on the card of the devil uh, the hands right one hand is right side up saying i'm not even touching you i'm not doing anything to you i'm i'm free over here um and the second hand with a torch going down shedding light in what is dark and the devil is basically appearing to ask who you sold your soul to, what are your secrets, what are you hiding over there in the darkness, what are the things that you're trying to keep uh, from being seen by others. And so the devil comes here to kind of like ask that question, right? What is holding you back? What are these hidden, really hidden secrets on your shadow that, you know, prevent you from your full potential biases behaviors bad habits etc when the card is reversed 
I consider it to be a card of freedom and liberation. Of course, because first of all, the devil never holds you back. It's your own secrets, your own shadow that holds you back. But when the card is reversed, it's actually, it could represent liberation. It could represent, I feel free to be, do, and talk, you know, and, and say whatever I want to be free of judgment and just do, or, and this will be a case by case card, uh, but it could also be, I'm so trapped into my own filth and darkness and secrets that there's no way out. But in the spirit of the sentiments that we've been seeing online, um, as I was saying earlier, a lot of people are showing empathy, sympathy, love, compassion, comprehension, and um, it, it containing the community, right? And then there's other folks that are really absolutely showing the opposite. Uh, greed, let's open this up, let's go make money. Um, they don't care i mean they, there's there's a whole lot of horrible things that we've been seeing since this pandemic situation started i don't need to tell you and i think that's what the reverse devil is is talking about is about showing people's true colors so that is nothing light <laughs> it's not a light reading or a light card and i promise you heather lynn is not gonna let me lie uh, Heather Lynn and I had a six hour class marathon for the card of the devil and my youngest student, I think that was the shortest marathon devil card. That was like three hours. Uh, it's a card that is very complex and it's very deep. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to read an Oracle card. I'm going to pull an Oracle for us for the weekend from the, um, celebration of love oracle and let's see what's the message that we have for the weekend today and what does the goddess want us to see oh look at this one is with source another another light being another lucifer another light bearer and a very and a, and a little bit of a distinct different um different flavor i guess but it's it's a light bearer nonetheless and this guy says you are being inspired to look most deeply into your life and honestly soul search for people with whom you have a controlling relationship it is time to release them freedom awaits you both it's the exact same message it is the exact same message freedom liberation shining light and letting go you are being inspired to look most deeply into your life and honestly soul search for people with whom you have a controlling relationship it is time to release them freedom awaits you both that is a beautiful message that is reiterated twice and of course that person could be yourself right could be that we are we have been controlling ourselves and now we want liberation or that we have relationships with others whom are not the way we want them to be and then we get disappointed or whatever that's a conversation for a whole another video <laughs> but thank you all for watching um see you next monday with the tarot reading for the week and remember, we do these videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye, IGTV. And bye-bye, Facebook. Thank you all for watching. And uh, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.